And another reason why I stopped editing my body is because a lot of people started commenting saying, oh my god, hashtag body girls. And it's like, my body's faking that picture. So you quit smiling and I leave behind. Hey everyone, how you all doing? It's been a very long time since I've uploaded on my YouTube channel. It's been like a month already. I hope you guys are okay. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are safe and healthy. If you're wondering where I have been, um, it was my birthday. Then after my birthday, I went traveling to Mykonos. Then after that, I just was chilling and I decided to change my hair because this is what age does to you. So crazy because I never thought in a million years I would ever bleach my hair blonde. <laughs> this isn't even blonde. This is like yellow now. I'm gonna jump straight into my makeup so I'm gonna list everything down below in the description box in case you're wondering what I'm using and in case I don't mention what products I'm using. I'm gonna try my best to explain what I'm doing in this video with my makeup routine because I have changed it up. I also got some new products as well that I love using and yeah I really want to share with you guys. The purpose of this video is to talk to you all about Instagram, Instagram versus, versus reality, reality which is a topic that I just find so interesting and I love doing these types of videos where I discuss with you guys guys just like life stuff you know so this video is fully inspired by the gorgeous James Welch I highly recommend you guys checking him out his content is so good and I just love the way he talks about everything really and he has a degree in Photoshop and editing and everything and I find it interesting to hear from a professional perspective about how he feels about Photoshop and how it works as well as for me I'm just a normal woman you know living life day by day and I am not qualified in Photoshop Photoshop. Even though I have the app, I don't know how to use it. All I know is how to sharpen and how to color correct on Photoshop. I don't know how to do anything else on Photoshop. However, I am pretty good at Facetune. I also want to let you guys know that I have nothing against editing. I have nothing against filters. I mean, hello. Hello. I have like over a thousand posts on Instagram and quite a lot of posts on TikTok where I use filters and everything. And I have no shame in that. I don't think there's anything wrong with using those editing apps. I don't even mind pictures being edited where the body's being like adjusted a little bit because I have done that in the past as well and I will explain later on in the video why I've done it and you know just my views on that. I definitely think that when it comes to editing pictures or videos there should be a boundary as well like a lot of influencers and celebrities when it comes to advertising like of course you can't help but try and make the advert look as beautiful as possible but there should be a boundary. People these days they love realistic things so yeah that's just like my personal thoughts. Also this foundation from Morphe I am so shocked at how much I like this foundation. This is the new Hint Hint Skin Tint foundation. It is so beautiful on the skin and it's extremely lightweight as well. I've been loving really lightweight foundations recently on my skin because I just find that my skin just breathes better and it looks better as well. And my skin has been drying up a lot. It's not as oily as it used to be. So I find that this foundation really helps, gives back that moisture. So I am gonna show you guys lots of pictures of myself where I have edited myself. So as you can see, I have a lot of pictures where my skin looks smoother. I have a lot of pictures where there's a filter on there. I have pictures where my eyes are enhanced, where the little eyeball is like more whiter than it is in person. I've always been a fan of editing pictures. I've loved it since the beginning of time. Like when I first discovered Instagram, it was the first app that I have downloaded and realized that you can actually put like a different type of filter as for on your phone back in the day day. If anybody can relate to me on this, please let me know. I used to just use a filter such as sepia and black and white and those type of cheesy filters or inverted or whatever it's called the filter that makes you look infrared I used to use those type of filters and I hated them and then one day my friend told me to download Instagram which I did and I found all these other filters that this app had and it had Valencia and a whole load of other filters as well and I really loved it and that was like the beginning of filters being created on other apps as well so I used to use an app called 1967 which they did a lot of like retro filter type of apps I no longer use that app anymore. I now use VESK. 
Vesco, Viesco, I don't, God, I don't even know how to say the app name, V-S-C-O, Vesco, yeah, yeah, that app. So I now use that app as well as Color Tone, those two are my go-to apps when it comes to filters. So when I first started doing blogging, it was mainly Facetune that I used to help brighten up my eyes, whiten my teeth, blur out my skin. I used to blur out my skin so much, but nowadays I don't do it as much as I used to because I like to show texture on my skin. So yeah, my editing skills have changed throughout the years of being a makeup blogger. And it wasn't until, I wanna say 2018, 2019, that's when I was introduced to refine and reshape on Facetune. I never knew what it was. I didn't know how to use it. And a part of me felt like it was wrong to use that app until one day I was posing for a picture and it was like a fashion type of photo and I realized I didn't like my waist so I was sitting down and I feel like sitting down poses are the hardest poses to achieve because it can make or break you because if you don't have the right posture and if you're not sitting in the right angle your gut could hang out of your pants and it's just I don't know to me when I saw that picture of myself when my gut was hanging out I was like oh my god I don't look like that like what the hell so I asked my friend to help me get rid of it and she showed me the refine and reshape tool and I was like Jesus Christ and that was like the beginning of me realizing that oh this tool is actually really easy to use so I'm going to insert a little video of me editing a picture of myself recently where I reshape my waist so just so that you guys know the picture that I am showing you that I am editing that picture is not uploaded on my Instagram. Even though I have that picture on my Instagram, that picture is not actually edited. Like I didn't reshape my body. I just put a filter on there and just enhance the, the lighting and the colors and that's it. I just wanted to let you guys know to reassure you all. So that was like the beginning of a new ending <laughs> because I became a little too obsessed with the refine and reshape tool in 2018 and 2019. And the reason why I stopped using that tool was because I just felt like it was just it, it just felt like I was being a bit too fake for too long and I don't know if anybody out there who feels the same I just got to the point where I was just sick and tired of just editing my body all the time when I know all I have to do is just find the right clothing pose differently get the right lighting and and last but not least go to the gym more often because I had a very unhealthy lifestyle in 2018 and 2019 like I shared with you guys on my Instagram stories how I had a lot of gut health problems problems where I was eating so much crap and it just wasn't digesting properly and I had a lot of trouble being comfortable at the gym and feeling good about myself after finishing a workout and yeah I just became a bit too obsessed with refine and reshape and I just felt like okay this is a time to change because I didn't want to hit my 30s and still continue what I'm doing in 2018 2019 like I wanted to change my lifestyle I wanted to be healthier work out feel good about myself and just be proud of my body for what it actually is rather than reshaping and refining my body every time I post a fashion photo and another reason why I stopped editing my body is because a lot of people started commenting saying oh my god hashtag body girls and it's like my body's faking that picture and I didn't know how to explain it because a part of me felt so ashamed of it and now that I'm in such a comfortable place with my own skin body and everything I just feel like this is the time to just really be honest and open with you guys with my past and I know a lot of people who continue to still edit their bodies and they have no shame in that and I find that really brave and I actually find that in a weird way quite inspiring because they just don't give a fuck and I'm one of those people where when I feel guilt I feel guilty like really really guilty and I'm just like oh my god like it will like stop me from sleeping type of guilt so and that's why I changed my mindset in stop reshaping my body in these pictures. So during lockdown, I mean, the UK is still kind of in lockdown, but it's more like, if you want to be in lockdown, that's your choice. If you don't want to be in lockdown, then you have to take extra precaution when you do go out and about. But when there was like hardcore lockdown in the UK, I literally had nothing to do with myself. So I tried my best to like stay positive and it was really, really hard, especially because gyms weren't open. And beginning of 2020, I said to myself, I am going to go 
go to the gym more often, I'm going to make more effort to eat healthy and to have that luxury of the gym just taken away from you so easily. It just, I don't know, it just, it was really hard to work out from home. Like I've noticed during this lockdown that a lot of people love to work out outdoors. As for me, even though I tried to work out outdoors, it just, it just made me feel uncomfortable. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm out in the open. I feel a bit unstable. I just rather be in a room with some equipment and just work out, do my thing and just go straight home. Yeah, so that's what I've learned about myself that I literally do need the gym in order for me to continue a healthy physical lifestyle. So what I'm trying to say is during a lockdown, even though I try my best to work out at least two, three times a week, I spent so much money on weights and everything. But this is what really triggered me during lockdown. I was following the wrong people on Instagram and on TikTok. I was following girls who were fitness girls, but they still edited their bodies, which I was shocked because I didn't think these people would want to edit their bodies, especially if they are promoting a very healthy fitness lifestyle. I found this page on Instagram and I highly recommend you guys checking this page out because I really like it. I think it's really cool. I don't think they created this page to hurt anyone's feelings, but they are called Called IG famous bodies and they basically talk about cosmetic procedures and edited photos and videos not in a rude way but more so just so that you guys know this picture is edited like you know it just opened my eyes and it made me realize that I shouldn't be too hard on myself when it comes to comparing myself to these beautiful women on Instagram like it was just so crazy like, I'm gonna insert a few pictures on the screen to show you guys the people that I really looked up to and was shocked to know that their bodies were edited. Now, I don't know how real this is. I'm hoping that this page is not bullshitting, but I don't know. It, it just, it does seem quite real, especially the before and after pictures of being edited. Oh, also, I just want to let you guys know, I have nothing against people getting surgeries or body enhancements or fillers or anything like that. If anything, I am a big fan of it because I think it's so cool how you can and change something that you dislike about your body. For instance, if you guys haven't seen Skin Decisions on Netflix, I highly recommend watching it. It is such an inspiring Netflix series showcasing all these people who has their own insecurities. Like the first episode, I was like literally crying my eyes out because the woman, the reason why she wanted to undergo cosmetic surgery was because she got shot nine times and she had a lot of bullet holes in her skin. I know, sounds crazy. Check it out, I highly recommend it and hopefully that show can make you realize that cosmetic surgery is actually a very good thing. And I've always been a big fan of cosmetic surgery, but that just really shows the beauty of cosmetic surgery. So these perfect looking Instagram models, they consumed me for months during lockdown. I'm talking like from the beginning till the end, literally. And, and it got to the point where it just made me feel so bad about myself, but I still didn't want to edit my pictures just to make myself feel better about myself because I don't think that's the right mindset to have. So what I did was, unfortunately, I had to unfollow these girls, which sucks because a big part of me feels like they're just doing their job because I know a lot of these fitness girls because they're so sexy and you know showing off their body of course a lot of their followers are gonna be men so in a way they are like showing a fantasy which is you know nothing wrong with that it's your body you do whatever you want to do with your body but I just felt like I had to unfollow these gorgeous women because it was just it just wasn't making me feel good about myself so I unfollowed them which really helped improve with my mental health and it made me feel more comfortable within my own skin as well because I wasn't comparing myself so much to these women however a really big part of me feels like the reason why some of these women especially fitness women who are editing their pictures and their audience is you know probably half fit on men it makes me wonder maybe the reason why they're editing their pictures and reshaping their body is because they have this reputation to stick by and they have an audience that they have to satisfy. So in a way, we do have to give them the benefit of the doubt. It is their job to satisfy and entertain their followers with their content. I also wanna let you guys know that when it comes to taking pictures, 
angles, clothing and lighting is everything. Like I'm going to talk about my lighting setup right here. So I have these two massive LED panels. It's from a brand called Hobby Tech. It's from Amazon. This is the best lighting I've ever had in my life. And also the camera and lens that I use, I use the 5D Mark IV. This is from Canon. And my lens is, I think it's a 70 mils to 100 and something mils. I don't know. I'll leave all the information down below in case you're wondering what type of equipment I use. I didn't realize when I was setting up my lighting and my new camera, I didn't know how like airbrushed I was gonna look because if you guys meet me in person, I am not this glowy or airbrushed like this. I don't know what it is. It's just something about this lighting and this setup. So I'm actually gonna turn off my lighting after I've done my brows. I'm gonna use the Benefit Brow Styler to quickly fill in my brows and I'm just gonna go ahead and just show you guys the lighting. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this light off if I can. Oh my God. Wow. Also, I don't know what's going on with my camera, but I have this issue with white balance where I just look so saturated. But as you can see, turning off one light, you can see more of my pores. You can see, I guess you can call it imperfections if you wanted to. But to me, this is just realistic. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn off this light, but it's going to be really, really dark though. And now I look like I'm going to tell you guys a scary story <laughs> with this whole entire lighting. But as you can see, lighting can do it a lot. Right in front of me, I have a very mini ring light so my skin texture looks much different because I'm using different lighting so I just turned on my light in and my camera is trying to pick up what's going on around me like it's trying to adjust the settings to match with my lighting in order for the white balance to match so yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that lighting cameras it can be misleading as well and I do try my best to film in the right way possible so you guys can see how the products looks on me how the makeup looks on me how my skin looks as well and it can be quite difficult and also I've noticed that on iPhone okay iPhone iPhone selfie I don't know what's been going on but they have like this very weird like blur filter I don't know why they did that if anything they should be enhancing the HD of it so people can see pores and skin textures and you know they can see like the hair strands and everything so before I talk about posing I really wanted to share with you guys how I've been doing my eyebrows so I've been getting a concealer I'm using the NARS soft matte concealer and what I am doing now is I'm actually putting the concealer from here to here so I'm directly putting the concealer on my brow bone rather than at the front of my brow because I just feel like the concealer will just like lift up the top of my brows when really I want it to stay where it is so I love posing for pictures. As you can see on the screen, a lot of the pictures I post on my Instagram, I am posing the hell out of my body. And the reason why is because I love it. I just simply enjoy posing. I simply enjoy taking nice pictures for myself. In a very, very weird way, once you learn how to pose for your body, you kind of feel good about yourself. But I do want to let you guys know that when it comes to posing in certain angles, I don't always look like that in person. Like, like I'm going to show you guys a posing picture of me standing up with my hip out and everything sucking in my belly and then a picture where I'm just neutral and that is me 99% of the time and the 1% is just posing for the gram and and I love seeing the comparisons of what posing can do because it just goes to show that you don't necessarily need the refine and reshape tool so I have found an app and I was really shocked by watching it because I couldn't believe how easily available this app can be especially to young people as well I find it it can be quite dangerous when it comes to editing your body on these apps and it can really be misleading to the younger generation as well because it will make them want to think that oh I have to look like that in order for people to like me so it can be really dangerous when it comes to playing around with these apps so I personally would never want to try these apps but if you want to use the app that's completely up to you I'm not going to tell you what's right or what's wrong I'm just so glad that nowadays there's a lot of people who are using their voices to showcase the Instagram versus reality Photoshop versus reality type of pictures and videos because I feel like it's really important to show these to the young generation. I had a really interesting conversation with my best friend the other day actually about fillers and surgery because she's interested in getting fillers done. And in case you're wondering, I haven't had anything done yet. I might get stuff done later on. I just don't feel like I need to get it done right now. I feel like I would be interested in getting things done maybe by the time I hit 30. But um, yeah, I will 
do another video about surgery and fillers another time. But in my conversation with my best friend, we spoke about how these days it is much harder for people to love themselves because of how many beautiful pictures and images there are of guys and girls. I'm gonna use myself as an example because I just feel like it's easy and I don't wanna bring anyone else into this discussion because I don't want to be disrespectful and judge someone because I don't really know them. So I definitely feel like I am, oh, can I say a victim? I feel like a victim's a bit of a big word. I am definitely one of those people who have experienced a lot of insecurities the past few years because of Instagram, seeing all these gorgeous young girls as well looking like Madison Bear and they're like 15, 16 years old. Like when I was 15, 16 years old, I did not look anything like all these young Instagram people like it's just so crazy how how the generation is changing so so much and it's a bit funny because I'm like basically comparing myself a 26 year old woman to a 15 year old girl who looks really freaking beautiful and then there's me <laughs> It is definitely much harder to be comfortable in your own skin these days because on social media, there is so much filtered, edited content and we're constantly seeing it. And in a weird way, it is like a reminder of, oh my God, I don't look like that. I don't have those skills. I don't have what she has. <laughs> I've learned it is best to practice self-love in your spare time, which is so cheesy. I'm all about self-love, you know? Like this year, I feel like I took advantage of my platform to talk about the importance of taking care of yourself and your mental health especially. So on a daily I do journal to remind myself how worthy I am and how much I deserve to be happy and how I shouldn't be comparing myself to these people on Instagram because at the end of the day everyone is going to show the best parts of themselves on Instagram because they want to show up and look good and look confident like that is that is the way it is and journaling has been so so helpful with my mental health this year and I really want to promote it to you guys like you don't have to think about grammar you don't have to think about spelling because your journal is for yourself and no one's gonna judge you especially yourself do not judge yourself when it comes to you writing how you feel and in a very weird way once you start writing down your your feelings you start to let go of a lot of anxieties and a lot of stress as well so I really do highly recommend journaling and if you can try I journal at least once a day like even if it's like five minutes like just quickly like write a few lines whether it's something that's been bugging you all day or whether it's something that you're really proud of and you just want to write it down to remind yourself another time when you go back to read your journal I definitely highly recommend in doing it because it's such a good way to practice self-love I'm gonna dip into this eyeshadow called wild child in the morphe M -M -M mitchell palette it just looks so nice Oh my god, that is so gorgeous. It's like a glittery brownie bronze. Oh my god, there's a lot of fallout though. Oh my god, this eyeshadow is quite hard to play with. Oh my god, what is going on? I just have to take it off. I just have to take it off and start again. I feel like I struggled doing this makeup look whilst talking to you guys because I haven't done a YouTube video in such a long time, but I managed to save this makeup look. I wanted to do like a cool tone smoky eye. I feel like ever since changing my hair, I've been loving cool tone makeup looks on me, which I thought I would never ever say in my whole entire life because I am such a warm tone bitch. But now that my hair has changed, my makeup has changed as well. I really hope this video helped you guys out and reassured you and, and in a way made you feel comfortable again in your own skin because literally everything you see, like almost everything you see on Instagram is edited and a lot of people who use social media will only show the best parts of their lives, the best parts of their bodies. They will only show enhanced versions of them and very few accounts show the real versions of them. So I do recommend in checking out some people that I like to follow. I'll leave a few fitness bloggers that I absolutely adore and love them so much because they talk about women's health as well as the realization that this body is normal even though you're fit and healthy. It's very normal to have cellulite. It's very normal to have saggy skin in certain areas. And it's just amazing to see female bloggers show that side of them because not everyone has the confidence to show that side of them. So so yeah, I really hope
hope this video helps you guys out. I really hope this was fun. I love doing discussion videos. Let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos. I know a lot of you guys want to see decluttering videos, so I will be doing them again, I promise. It's just that YouTube is a very, I have a very weird relationship with YouTube. One day I love it, the next day I don't. <laughs> but if you do want to catch up with me and spend time with me, I am on Instagram and TikTok. I do post regularly on there. And I would love to see you guys and get to know you guys on my other platforms. I don't even know if I want to say hit that subscribe button because I don't even post that much. So if you want to subscribe, thank you. If not, that's okay. I'm not mad. <laughs> but I do hope to see you guys again. Remember that you are loved. Remember that you're beautiful. And remember that you are worthy. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.